Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Poulter, and thank you for coming to the Relaxation Factor, Self-Empowerment Audio Series 1, 2, and 3. We're going to talk about today relaxation, the relaxation factor. And what is that? Or what's self-hypnosis? What's meditation? Sometimes it's easier to talk about something about what it's not to understand what it is. And I've heard forever people say, I can't relax, I can't calm down. I'm a type A personality. I have attention deficit, I'm hyperactive. When I try to meditate or breathe, with my eyes closed, my mind's racing, I'm thinking about all this stuff, perfect. You're exactly the person we're looking for. Because relaxation is really about gaining more control. The very thing we all want. You wanna feel better, in order to feel better, many times it takes us to quiet down internally. So we're not reacting, so we're not overreacting. And then we start responding and allowing there to be a gap in the things we do. In self-hypnosis, you do it every night. You go to sleep. Self-hypnosis is not you dancing on a stage as a chicken or someone taking control of you. It's about self-soothing, quieting down, slowing down, calming down. That's what you do every night when you go to sleep. And some people say, I have insomnia. Okay, I address that in the relaxation factor tapes about developing how to go to sleep and how to stay asleep. But ever sat on the couch, you're watching a movie and you're kind of drifting off, you could get up and go to bed, it takes too much effort. That's self-relaxation. You're relaxed, you're calm, you know what's going on, but you kind of zone out. Or another one, you're driving and you miss the off ramp or you drive right past the building you're supposed to go to. That's self-hypnosis. You're in another state, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. You're just in a different place. That's what this is all about. Learning how to do that in the midst of your mornings, your day, and your evenings. All circumstances, all situations. And some of the byproducts of learning how to relax is you feel better. And if you feel better, you're gonna make better decisions, you have more energy, and you feel less anxious or depressed. And also addresses the ability to stop smoking, overeating, over drinking, all that stuff can be addressed because you're in control of how you're feeling. And then your body follows that. And when your body's following that, your potential's unlimited for the things you wanna do. Another question I get asked all the time is I have panic attacks. And we know that panic many times is a learned behavior. You can go way back in your childhood, but learning another default, like seeing yourself on a beautiful beach in paradise, sitting there under a palm tree, looking at the water, feeling that warm breeze, seeing the palm trees, hearing the water, and you can feel it. You can train yourself to go there when you're feeling pressure. That becomes your default. That's the self-relaxation factor. Train yourself on how to have these experiences when you need them. And one of the things also, the byproducts of this long-term and short-term is your health improves. Your emotional state improves. And many people feel like they get depressed and by relaxing, you're feeling better. And that changes everything. It changes everything you do, how you feel, and secondly, how you relate to people. You know, when someone's very relaxed and they come towards you, you feel more relaxed, you feel better. They're peaceful, you feel calm, it works. And if you have kids, being calm is the antidote to a very functional family in spite of the hurricane outside. And if you're quiet inside and there's a hurricane outside, eventually the hurricane goes away and your calmness prevails. So in the next few minutes, we're gonna do some hypnosis, self-relaxation on how to start your day and also how to end your day, both of which are critical to what you do and how you do it. And thank you.